guys, check it out. We just got done filming this place back here. I'm over here with Richard and Kara, and we're out here in Ashtabula. We came out to see uh, the old Super Kmart across the street here, and they are black topping the whole place. And down, well, down this way, I went the wrong way. <laughs> and over here where the prison yard used to be, um, they actually have it open and they're working in there. So we're gonna go over here and see if we can find out what it is. And maybe just at least get some shots, like, you know, from around the perimeter. But uh, but I think we can still see the, the label scar from the Super K up there. We'll just have to get closer to check it out. All right, so we asked this guy over here what's going in, and he said it's gonna be Charter Communications. We're not exactly sure what that is, but definitely got something going on there in, the, in there right now. Redoing this whole end. It looks like they're what the heck? Like building over the old docks here or something. Bays, whatever you call them. This is what was the prison yard right here. I don't want to take too many liberties. Oh look! Old Kmart door. <laughs> That's the old Kmart door. I think these all are. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> yeah, this right here is what was the garden center, the prison yard. But they've got it coming down here. I like seeing the doors over there. But as you can see, they're, they're building bricks up over where those doors were. So... I don't want to overstep any boundaries here, but I, I really do want to see inside there. Not a whole lot to see, but... Let's see if we can see the label scar up here. So you really can't see any of it. You, I mean, you can see like the little bolts and stuff up there. But this is where it said Super Kmart up here. And, and, and actually, this is where they had the going out of business sign right up here. So I believe the Super Kmart was more like down this way. Yeah, they're working in the parking lot here, black topping the... I assume going to be the whole thing. Probably the part that we're walking on right now will all be blacktop by the time these guys get done. But this was the entrance here. They have store closed signs up on there still. It would be so cool if somebody would just let us poke in there to get some shots. I highly doubt it's going to happen, but we're going to try to just peek in the doors here a little bit. Then you can sort of see in there. You can see where the floor is torn up. I so wish we could just step in there. Yeah, that would be great. That so look like they awesome. have all the tile in there. Here's the store clothes signs. The red stripe from Kmart. Yeah, I can't see much, but... Hmm. Alright, let's go look down this end for a second here. I don't think there's anything really to see, but... Let's look down here. Yeah, just the... I don't know what you guys call this, but I call it the breezeway. <laughs> I call it a sally port sometimes. A sally port? A sally port. Yeah, when, when I was little, I remember we had houses that had like the little little rooms on the front of the house like this, and we called it a breezeway. No idea why. This is the side view from the or south. Okay, I don't recall, I never shopped at this Kmart, but I don't recall from pictures that I saw online that there was a sign up over here too. I think it was only on the other side. Ooh, okay, this is becoming a thing. We got bees up here. There was just a big bees nest at the one that I went to the other day in Niles. Niles? Yeah. And here's one. Ooh, I wouldn't want to open up that box. Dang. <laughs> 
like this is kind of cool here where you can see no that's okay where you can see the uh where the blacktop ends where that they finished over here and then that's the old parking lot and they're sealing all this out here all the cracks so yeah probably by the end of the day they'll probably have this whole thing blacked blacked black topped i don't know tarred <laughs> whatever you call it yeah i don't see any kind of a uh, evidence of any label scar up here at all just that one on the on the other end there so here's the mall entrance here i think we should go in and see if there's any kind of markings on the inside still there's Joanne fabric sign there i don't know if that's actually still in the uh in the mall here or not but look we got bird nests up in the letters i don't know why i love seeing that yeah, let's go on in here. Ashtabula Town Square. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's Joanne's right there. But look, there, there is a label scar up here. I don't know how well we can see it. That's weird, if anything. Oh, okay, I see. I think that's where it said Kmart. But I don't think there was a super up there. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> I just almost killed Richard. <laughs> yeah, check this out. Kara just pointed out that we can look through here. Look at it, guys. That is awesome. Sales floor. And there is tile on the floor. Apparently they've torn it out in some areas. Huh. Okay, so yeah, when we first stepped in here, I thought that it just said Kmart, but we've been looking at this thing and I'm pretty sure it said Super K. And maybe, it, I guess it did say Mart down there. But we can see an E up here clearly and then it looks like an R down here. So I'm pretty dang sure that's what it said, Super K, which would make sense because this is a Super K. Let's take one more look at the sales floor. Look at that, I love it. I'd love to just go in there and walk around a little bit. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it for the Super K. It's really cool to see it though, and I'm glad that we can still see that label scar up there, and especially in through the windows there to the sales floor. Mm -hmm.